We're going to start our work uh, on organic chemistry with hydrocarbons, which are the simplest of all organic compounds. So what do we mean by a hydrocarbon? A hydrocarbon is simply a compound that contains only hydrogen and carbon. So you can see hydrocarbon. Something like butane, lighter fluid. Right? C4H10 is a hydrocarbon. Gasoline, octane. C8H18 is a hydrocarbon. Right. Hydrocarbons are what are known as fossil fuels, meaning they come from basically long dead and decomposed dinosaurs. So essentially the question is have a think about that. Alkanes are what are known as the simplest of all hydrocarbons. They contain only single bonds between carbon and hydrogen atoms. They have a general formula uh, shown there, and they're named according to chain length. So to name an alkane, find the longest chain of carbon atoms. All right, and then so the naming system is there's a root all right, of the word, which indicates the number of carbon atoms in the longest continuous chain. And then there's a suffix, which is going to indicate uh, what type of molecule. So in our case today, uh, the suffix is going to be A-N-E or ane because all of the molecules are called alkanes. All right, so here's our table with the number of carbon atoms in the main chain and the root words. So you can see he, them shown there. Here's an example. There's four carbons in the main chain. All right, so what I'm going to go over and I'm going to say, oh, the root of this word must be but. Okay. So the, the suffix is A-N-E or ane because it's all single bonds. So this compound is called butane. So as you can see, it's C4H10. All right, that's lighter fluid from when we, uh, we did our uh, molar volume lab. All right, pause the video and try this one. Hopefully you found that there's nine carbons in the main chain. So this is called nonane. All right, so representing organic molecules. First of all, we can use what's called a molecular formula for butane. Then there's what's called a full structural formula, shows all the bonds. A condensed structural formula groups the carbons and hydrogens together, while what's a little more convoluted but quite useful for textbooks is what's called a line structure. The carbons are the vertices, or the end of a line, while the hydrogens are omitted completely. I'm going to circle the first and second third and fourth carbon atom of butane in each of the three representations. So you can hopefully uh, have a pause and compare those. All right, let's actually try to use some of this. I'm going to say draw heptane. So I'm, in my chart there, I'm going to find hept. So that tells me that there's seven carbons in a heptane. Let's draw the full structure. So let's put seven carbon atoms in a row. All right, so that's single bonds between the seven carbon atoms. All right, and then you're going to fill up the rest of the bonding slots on carbon with hydrogen. So now remember, this is way back to our bonding work. How many bonds does every single carbon atom always have to make? The answer is four. So all of the available bonding sites get hydrogens in an organic molecule. So I connect all of those carbons to each other, and then I fill up... Uh, all the carbons with hydrogen so that each carbon gets four bonds. So the condensed structural formula, CH3, CH2, 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 CH3. And you can see that this matches the full structure directly above it. The line structure, okay, shown there, much, much simpler. Okay, pause, go back through that if you need to. But we're going to now try to name the following molecule here. So I'm going to circle what I think is the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms, which to me appears that there's six. So I'm going to go to my chart. I'm going to say, well, what is it? What, what's six? Okay, so I'm going to find that six carbon atoms has the root hex, hex or hexa. All right, and because there are only single bonds shown between the carbon atoms, all right, the suffix here must be ane. All right, when I put this all together, I'm going to find that this molecule is called hexane. All right, this will take a little bit of time to get used to, all right, but we're going to try a number of practice problems in class. You'll get the hang of it.